In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions with linear denominators with common factors, advanced. We're asked to subtract here, and I know that to add or subtract fractions, I must first have a common denominator, and with these two denominators, I would first want to factor each one as much as possible to identify a common denominator. Starting on the left-hand side, I can see that each of these terms have a common 5 that can be factored out. And when I factor out a 5 from the first term, I'm still left with an x. And whenever I factor out a 5 from the second term, I would be left with a plus 3. And we could check by distributing the 5 to see that we get back to where we started. For this second fraction, I can also factor out a number. This time they have a common 2 factor, so factoring out a 2 from the first term, I'm left with an x. Factoring out a 2 from that second term, a plus 3. And now that these are each fully factored, I know that my lowest common denominator must have each of these factors represented. Since both the left and the right have an x plus 3, then our lowest common denominator must have an x plus 3. Looking at the numbers, we have 5 and 2, and so 10 would have both the 5 and the 2 as factors. I can see from here that for this left-hand fraction, to make that denominator 10 times x plus 3, I would need to multiply by 2, and I would have to do the same on the numerator. So rewriting this would be an 8x over 10 times x plus 3. And then on the right hand side, for the denominator to be 10 times x plus 3, I would need to multiply by 5. And again, I would multiply everything in the numerator by 5 as well. So this would be minus. I'll go ahead and distribute here. This numerator is 5x minus 25. And my denominator is now 5 times 2 is 10 times x plus 3. We can now do the subtraction because we have a common denominator. Our denominator is 10 times x plus 3. Looking across the numerators, I have 8x. And we have to be careful with this subtraction because everything behind here is being subtracted. So we can think of this as being distributed. We are subtracting a 5x, so minus 5x, and we are subtracting a negative 25, so plus 25. We can now combine a couple of like terms. The 8x minus 5x is 3x, and we bring down the plus 25. No further simplification here. This is in its lowest form. 